Welcome to this Windows channel and this is another video with a tool for spyware, malware and virus removal as we are looking into some of the tools that every tech guy should have and uh, you know people could look into if they are infected with malware. So um, this tool is called Spybot Search and Destroy. This is a tool that I actually used um, I remember the first years of my tech guy uh, job, I would use this, and we're talking uh, early 2000 years, and um, it's been a tool that I've actually removed from my tools for a while, because I thought it wasn't as good as it, as it used to be, and um, you know I replaced it with Malwarebytes. But lately, I've been checking it out for the past uh, few months, and it's actually become good again. And uh, it's one of the tools that I think is nice to have. So, SpyBot Search and Destroy, of course, there's a free version, there's a paid version. Uh, the free version is a, um, you know, malware scan and removal. So here, if we compare the additions, SpyBot Free is anti-malware, anti-spyware. It's not like Malwarebytes. It's not something that is um, real-time scan when it's free, but you can use this and it uh, to scan your system for bad stuff. There's SpyBot Home, which adds antivirus and real-time anti-malware spyware, and SpyBot Pro, which also adds a Boot CD Creator to the lot of software. Now, once you've, of course, downloaded this, you basically have a little program that looks like this, SpyBot Search and Destroy. Uh, this is a software that will require you to update, first of all, so one of the first things you need to do is update your, uh, you know, all the definitions, and then you'll have system scan and uh, all sorts of little details, um, immunization, there's all sorts of things here in this uh, piece of software. Now, not all of the um, modules are available, so as you are installing it, you'll see that some of them will require you to basically, um, you know, pay for it, but uh, there's a lot of little things here. Um, that's going to happen. So what you should actually do in general when you install SpyBot is first of all to basically use immunization. What's immunization? Immunization is a tool that actually uh, lets you stop. So here you see, if it looks like we haven't used immunization yet. We recommend you do so to easily block some common threats. So immunization will start by uh, checking out if there are some um, spyware that's running right now and stop the most common. And you see here, this is the immunization status that's being checked out. So that's one of the things you should check and uh, see if you want to immunize. You can apply immunization. That means that it will protect your system a little more. Um, but be aware that immunization will also add sometimes some um, unwanted pop-ups where it's going to ask you questions. So if you're afraid of questions, uh, you can, of course, just use the system scan. By clicking system scan, the system scanner will, of course, be checking out your system. One of the things you need to do is, of course, make sure that you are updated. And then you will see uh, system scan, you will see tracking cookie uh, cookies will be removed and all sorts of things that are discovered. Uh, will be removed. So it's another tool to add to your box of anti-malware and virus, uh, you know, detection and removal. It is in the same type of detection basically than Malwarebytes, but it adds a little more. Malwarebytes usually doesn't touch cookies or some temporary files. Uh, SpyBot will want you to clean temporary files, will want you to clean cookies uh, from your browser. So you can check it out. It's another one of those great, great tools. Of course, the uh, link 
to this will be in the description below the video. So uh, all you have to do is click the link of uh, the website, which is safer-networking.org. And uh, of course, scan your system to see if malware is available. So it's another tool that you can scan your system. You know, each tools have as its own uh, force and um, basically some tools see things that others don't. Uh, some tools have weaknesses, so that's why very often an efficient and good uh, malware scan will require you to have several tools, uh, not just one. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe to my channel. You'll be informed when new videos are online. Give us thumbs up. If you enjoy our videos, why not subscribe? And hopefully you will enjoy watching our videos in this little series of tools to remove malware and viruses on your PC.